So some time ago, I did a review on what I consider to be the best remote for your Android TV box. Uh, link below or coming up there. Uh, but now I'm going to review the best app to make your Android phone into a great remote for your Android box. In fact, because it's Bluetooth, it will work on anything. But to sum up, let me just recap a little bit why I now prefer using a Bluetooth app for the phone rather than the remotes that come with the box. Firstly, I'm using a VC box at the moment, which is my go-to box, great box, all-inclusive, if you know what I mean, IT, IPTV, etc., etc. But this is a remote that comes with it. I'll zoom in. It's a good result. Oh, Good remote overall, but not great. It's not Bluetooth. There's no air mouse in it. Uh, it's an average remote, uh, but you do have customized buttons. Not bad. Okay, so most remotes come like that, and you have to use a USB that you have to plug into the box, and you have to point directly to the box to make them work. So the one that I reviewed recently, and I consider to be the best Bluetooth remote, is the next one. Was this one? I did a separate review a few months ago, and let me just zoom in here so you can see it's got voice activation. The previous model didn't. Most remotes that come with boxes do not have voice activation in them, but it's so useful. Once you get used to it, you can't go back. This illuminates when you press a button. Uh, lovely color blue. Uh, that little sticker that you can see where I'm pointing, that is so it shows up when it's pitch dark, so you can't, can easily find it. The shape of it I didn't like, but it's great in the hand, but when you put it down, it kept on falling off. So what I did, I put these stickers, there it is, I'll zoom in so you can see that. Easy grip, they're called, and they were great, and it stops it falling down. That was my best Bluetooth remote. Uh, voted my best Bluetooth remote and still a very good, very inexpensive. You can get it from Amazon, eBay, all those kind of places. And there's a little link below coming up right now where you can see the name of it and that one. I eventually replaced that one with this one. They're all less than 10 bucks, they're about. Uh, same sort of thing, got the voice, it's Bluetooth, works very, very well. Uh, Air mouse, they've all got air mouses, got the voice, and this one's got the numbers, which are quite useful. And turn it over and it's flat. You can see it's a flat design. So it doesn't fall off and very nice in the hand as well. But the Bluetooth one has a major, major advantages, uh, such as it's on your phone. You've got your phone everywhere. So when you travel, you don't even need to take something with you. Uh, but let's go straight into the remote, show you what it is. I've got a link below for the Bluetooth app using any Android phone. Easy to set up. And here it is coming up now. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. And share. And share. And like. And like. <laughs> Okay, so here I am now on my phone, that's what you're watching, and the app is here. I've tried quite a few uh, Bluetooth remotes for the Android phone. Most I gave up on, they just didn't work, I couldn't get them to connect. This was so easy to connect, it was amazing. It also has a support page, which I'll show you in a few minutes, but all you've got to do is tap it. You can choose the layout, there's a whole layout, different colors, I've got a dark mode. I find it great, and um, and as you can see, yeah, it's recording it on the other TV, on my other camera. So you can use the mouse straight away. Uh, you can also. You don't have to keep on pressing the input, which I love. So as you can see, I'm just going across like that uh, by pressing the buttons, and here, if I tap that, I can actually use it as an air remote. Um, just by moving around my phone. That's not being picked up by the screen recorder, but on the other monitor, you can see now it's fantastic. And whenever you want to get to the right page, it's great. So now if I go back up, if I go to Netflix, for instance, press OK. 
tap on Netflix, and if I, oops, lazy, if I want to search for something, this is pretty neat, um, I press the voice remote, and um, Superwoman. And where, oh, it got Supergirl. But it's fantastic, you don't have to type in anything. There is a keyboard in this as well, you can customize it. Um, oh, I've got my neighbor making a noise now, I apologize about that. Uh, but it's fabulous, all the controls are self-evident, you control the volume, you can turn it on and off as well from here on the top right. Um, let's see what else I got. Fast forward, play the remote, normal remote, scroll left and right here. As you can see, look at that, very, very, very good. Uh, left and right, that way you can type, oh, the minute you press that, you can type in the keyboard as you can see. And if I just type R, okay. Great, I don't have to keep on pressing the input and changing it and stuff like that. Play everything there, back to home page, instant. You can customize this. Uh, you've got all these different uh, modes. It'll work with any device, including your computer, anything that's Bluetooth. Very, very, very clever. Custom layout, just to show you. You can choose it that way. Uh, it also has an active, let me see here. It's from, I never know how to pronounce it. I'm going to call it GitHub. Uh, so it's an open source one. And here it has an active page on how to use this as well so look at that uh, you can just type in under support and it takes you to this page goes on about it very very good high ratings on the play store worked flawlessly and even if I just let's say turn it off because right now it's connected you get a little icon at the top I don't know if you can see that scroll down and here I will turn that off now it's gone, so it's not active at all. The minute I tap on it again, it becomes back to, let's have a look, uh, multimedia. There it is. Not much else to add, highly recommended. Uh, the big plus is you can just now put it down on the side of your chair and you don't have to worry about which buttons you're pressing. They're very big, lovely layout, easy to use, doesn't take up hardly any battery. I guess the only negative would be uh, is that if you don't like you to use your phone as a remote, but it's dead easy to set up. Link below, as I mentioned. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Any questions, let me know, and I hope you enjoyed it.